Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to CRG Central. Tonight we'll be recording episode 5 of the 2024 Road to the Triple Crown. Episode 5 is the episode that will we'll, we'll run our uh, Kentucky Derby, the two heat races, and the Derby, and the two heat races for the Kentucky Oak and the Kentucky Oak. And these fields are based on our prep races that we run in episodes one to four from January through April. So let's go ahead and, and take a look. And what we let's go over to the uh, trade race. Uh, we'll just go straight to the schedule. We'll see that there too. Based okay, so on this, you'll see that week 17 will have the Kentucky Oaks and Kentucky Derby heat races. And I've already feel, uh, filled out the field so we can take a quick look at it. And the field was filled out using the export of the top 10. And the expo of the top 10, there's a parameter option that allows you to decide how many horses actually get exported. So I exported 25. And what I did was, in heat race 1, I took all, all the odd number of horses that qualified. So that would be 1, 3, through 19. And then what I did was to the schedule. If I clicked on a button here that is called post position, and that that does the uh, post position draw just like they do with the Kentucky Derby community meetings. So here's the Phillies. That'll be on Heat Race One. Here's the Phillies will be heat race two, and they'll be all of the even number of horses. So all the odd number of horses are running in heat race one, and all the even number of horses are going to run in heat race two. Well, heat races have ten horses, so that was a total of twenty, and this is where the cutoff was. And you see the cutoff for Raposo. He, she had 15 points, and then Dunson and Money Grab also had 15, and the tiebreaker was how much in winning than the horse average. The mother had, the Poto had more winning things than Gunson and Mummy, so they missed the cut for Poto, and the other 15 points, 53 points, made the cut. Okay, so we can do the same do the same thing here for the Kentucky Derby. Again, there's 20 horses. Go to the top Colts. And we did the same thing. All the odd number of horses in the top 20 were put in Heat Race 1. All the even number of horses were put in Heat Race 2. And then we did a, a post position draw for those two heat races too. So you see number one catching freedom as post position three. Go down the uh, number nineteen evening news evening news to post position ten. You go over to Heat race two. And along with your list, you see the same thing here. Imagination, and then up in post four and 20 with Curlin's Chaos. And he ended up post six. You see Curlin Chaos, it was a nice break. And Cur Curlin Chaos had 50 victory points, and then Stronghold 45. So, Everybody under 50 missed the cut. 
top five under 50 with Stronghold, Northern Flynn, Casino, Shot to Fly, and Mystic Dance. So that's our four fields for the two Kentucky Oaks and two Kentucky Derby races. So let's go ahead and get it started. As you've seen, I've already locked them because I have that's wrong for post position to want to make sure I didn't do it again. So here's the uh, first race on the card. That's the uh, Kentucky Oats, Heat Race 1. We're running everything on the fast track. And these are uh, pre races. I, I guess I can randomize the track condition instead of using. The original, but we'll go with fast for all four races. And <coughs> see, we have the fire is the uh, morning line favorite for the race. So let's take a look at the fast performances. You see, every horse is raced at least one, a couple twice. And we have the fire right here with. Two races and two wins from the Fairground Oak and the Rachel Alexandria. Another winner here wins my ring, won the Brazil Stakes. And let's see, Kenza and the Santa won the Santa Anita Oaks. And that's about it for the horses that eat race one. So let's go ahead and head to Churchill Down, and we're running on the fast track, and then we're all set. Get spectator mode going, and where's my ring of reality first? The sewage tower announces the horses are in the side gate, and we're ready to go, and they're off. So you see if we're heading into the first turn. It looks like perfect shot and Kenza taking the early lead of Worth My Rain just can't pass field to come in in second, but now power squeeze and Impel passes one. Two Perfect Shot is still holding a, a couple face leads going into the clubhouse turf. Kenza just moved up and he's now, she's now tied with perfect shot as we go into the home stretch. And she, Kenza now takes the uh, lead. Let's see if she can hold it through the final game turn. It looks like she did. She'll win the, <coughs> the heat race. And there's your first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Alpha, the favorite came in fifth. Hopefully that's good enough to get her into the finals. We'll see. In the finals, we'll take the, the top ten in time. So we'll go ahead and move over it and get back to the schedule to go ahead and run the heat race two of the Oaks. Here's our field. See here, Leslie's Roads and nothing like you are the morning line favorites. Let's go ahead and take a look at their past performances. And let's see, Into Champagne won the Gulfstream Oaks. Leslie's Roads run the Ashland Stakes. And those are the only two winners <coughs> in this field. Let's see, he's won 360,000 at the Ashland. Into Champagne won 150,000. Everybody on in this one race, one prep race. Okay, so we'll head back to Churchill Downs on the fast track and get this race underway. 
spectator again and Kalen Forte and Tyler the Gate first. The Seward Tower announces this to go and they're off. And both of these heat races are nine furlongs for the Phillies and the Kentucky Oats will also be nine furlongs. So if we head into the back stretch, we have ourselves a nice little race between regulatory risk and nothing like you. And we have a horse to jockey at the tough time. We'll see if we can help him out. At 12 points to you, he has no points to do the slip. So uh, let's see if we can do the slip with no point. When you do the slip with no point, there's a chance that something uh, unusual may happen. Besides actually getting the opportunity to do the slip too, are you ready to take the chance? Oh, and then more consequences occur. And they lost the forward movement point trying to do it. So, and one left. Move out. And he can try it again here. He has enough to, to try the maneuver. I'll try this one. Yeah. See if he can take another chance. It did not work. Nothing gained, nothing lost. So if we want to go outside further, we have to burn the forward movement to get them sideways. And he just comes up. She just comes up even. Okay, let's go. He's in spectator mode. <coughs> now as we go into the compound's turn, it looks like the regulatory risk. And Leslie's Rose, they're uh, neck and neck. And three, who's three? Nothing like you passes both of them. And then the whole stretch, nothing like you is really galloping. Getting the lead. And they may hold it on the last game turn. Let's see if she does. And she holds it with and running away. And that's the Nicholas Heat Race. Two, nothing like you. Leslie throws one of the favorites with second, third, you know, fourth, and fifth. So that's it for the Kentucky Oaks heat races. Let's get into the Kentucky Derby heat races. Get the first race up. And Luth is the favorite and plus in post position one. The possibility for a wire the wire are here. Kentucky Derby Heat Races and the Kentucky Derby are 10 furlong, all running at Churchill down under a fast track. So here's the 10 furlong out in the quarter starting the game. And we're going to switch it in spectator mode. Official Stewart Tower announced every all the horses are in the starting gate. Evening news will be out of the gate first, and they're off. And as you see, they're heading into the first turn. We have Mute out in front. So we have a couple horses passing and catching up, so it's a much tighter race than I thought. We have an issue with horse 10. Even the news is stalled out right around the finish line. Could cause a problem if, if Moose doesn't get off the track before they get here. Anyway, let's go with our token number 5. The jockey needs a little help. With no jockey points to spend for split, so we'll be taking a chance. And what we go out, we go out two, and we'll pass them all. Let's just do the and 
that was include West Saratoga or Sierra Leone and up next. And now we're into the clubhouse turn. We have Catching Fire and Timberlake next to that. And we have moved to taking the lead in the home stretch and let's see if he can hold it. We have one more turn and that's it. Youth wins the heat race one for the Kentucky Derby and there's your five finishers. Okay, let's go ahead and head back to the schedule and set up heat race two. Catch the morning line. We have a couple horses here. Door Notch, Track Phantom, and Imagination. All pretty much morning line favorites. Again, we'll be heading over the Circle down the fast track for a 10 for a long race, which is a mile and a quarter. I guess we can do past performances. I guess I forgot to do that for the others. Oh well. Okay, as you see for Heat Race 2, there was quite a bit of activity. Only noted is the only horse that ran one heat, one prep race. You see a couple, one, quite a few, of course. A few of the races do have Heat Races too, so you have the Heat Race and the Finals. And just slanting through here. All these horses won nearly a half a million dollars so far. Uh, Imagination did win a half a million and just in touch 600,000. Even the lowest to low managed to win over a hundred thousand dollars. Okay, I think we're ready to get the, over to Churchill Downs and start the race. Again, 10 per long race. Looks like imagination to be out in the game first. So with Tower says the horses are all set in the starting gate and they're off. Step back and watch the second cup race for the Kentucky Derby as they head into the first turn. In the middle of the first turn, we have a lonesome boy with the lead, but that was not held very long. Imagination, you can get a little boost here. And since he has jockey points, he's going to do the flip maneuver. And he's able to do all the issues. And imagination temporarily is in first place. And here we go, finishing. And oh my, horse three goes down. Track Phantom, one of the favorites, right at the finish line. Could be a big mess when the horses come through the uh, home stretch with. That horse down. Let's see. Uh, well, needs a little help. That horse eight. Look sideways. And then we had it, it looks like the horses just were able to get out of the way. That would wind me up in just a touch. Let's see who wins the photo finish. It's just a touch, then wind me up, finish in second. You 
16th and 3rd, 4th, and 5th. So that comes to two puck races. Well, I should say the heat races for the Kentucky Derby. And now we'll advance to week 18 to run the Oaks and the Derby. Oaks need to have their fields uh, placed. So we'll go ahead and edit the fields and then we'll come back and we'll uh, randomize the post position. Okay, as you see, these are all the fillies that uh, race in the two heat races and they're ranked according to how well they did. And you see the first, second, third, and fourth, and fifth. And first, sixth, seventh, and eighth. So we'll go ahead and pick up the horses that had to press as numbers here. So we'll do the top 10. So I guess it doesn't matter since we're going to just We're going to do a uh, post position draw anyway, so let's just get them announced in the field. Same the field. Oh, we have some jockeys, so we need to straighten that out. I run our teeth, the, the lower rated horse will have to make a change. Power swings will have antenna. Antenna will be riding power swings. Now it looks like that's the only one. Save the field. and head back. We'll go ahead and in the post position, here's what we put in, and we'll randomize them. There you go, nothing like you still have. Of course, the lessee grows in an up temp. And we'll lock that field and do the same thing for the Kentucky Derby. And at that field in the top 10 based on this point system here. And I'll run those to be the, the dumb draw at the, at the cut because the points were better even though they have the same. <coughs> at the same times. So oh, we got the same thing here with uh, one. Wind me up. Yeah, now, can he tell me forward so we can find somebody comfortable? Give me a three. Tyler, yeah, Tyler was not. Maybe so, like, Tyler was right. Mm -hmm. Flame and Pack, Imagination. One, that's not good because we want you to have a safe problem. Intonation five times.
Manual Franco, he's not in the, in the race, so Manuel Franco, John Fyde is the wrong. Okay, it looks like we have all the jockeys straightened out. We'll save that, and we'll do the post position draw, here's the way we put them into the program. And Justin Touch managed to have the first one again. You ended up second. I mean, six. We're done. We'll lock it till we're locked at both. And we're all set to run the Kentucky Oaks. Okay, we have a couple favorites. Nothing like you, Power Squeeze. And Leslie's Rose are the three favorites for the Kentucky Oaks. Let's go ahead and start the race. No, let's back up. Let's do this again. I remember this time. Let's look at their past performances. All the horses, all the fillies have run uh, two horse, two races. Money winner is Leslie's Rose had 300,000. That looks like the best. Okay, nobody's managed to win both the races. Oh, yeah, Kenza. Hey, that's it for that. Go ahead and start the race. Okay, the road. Starting gate. Looks like everybody's in the starting gate. If there were power, okay to start. Respiratory risk should be out of the gate first, and they're off. As we're heading into the back straight, we have nothing like you and power swings. Horse nine. Hell. See what horse nine needs to do. Had jockey points, so looks like we can. Looks like we might have a chance to slip through too. Let's make this wild maneuver. And we'll do it again. And two forward movement left to get past them. And she does, and for the moment she has the lead. Get back into spectator mode. Oh, another horse that needs a little help. There's one jockey to make the move. Want to use up two movement points, and she gets into a good position for the back straight. Okay, in the back straight we have empty champagne with the lead, but. And Pell came back and took the lead again, going into the back straight, back turn, one pound turn. And then we are going into the home stretch. We have power squeeze with the lead. But Impel passed, and let's see who's going to finish up. Nine for long race. This is the last one. It looks like it's Impel with the win. We have a photo finish there. Second. And we have Impel first, Power Squeeze second, Nothing Like You third, 
in the in the money uh, port, and you can see him tell what shot it away with nine hundred thousand dollars winning the Kentucky Oats. Okay, last up on our schedule for for episode five is the Kentucky Derby. Look at that five million dollar purse and for the race. Let's go ahead and uh, get to the morning line. There we have the morning line. We have Moose catching freedom, imagination. The morning line favorites. Let's see their past performances. You see, while while all the horses have run at least three prep races, including of course one Kentucky Derby heat race. Looking at the money, Just Steel is over a million. Just a touch of shit, barely. A And a million. He has 918,000. Catching Freedom is down over a million dollars. And so is Timberlake. So we have one, two, three million dollar horses in the race, plus one at 900,000. In fact, the lowest earning horse looks like is, is West Caratoga at 210. Okay, let's go back and again it's Kentucky Churchill Downs, fast track ten for the race for the Kentucky Derby. And like it says the five million dollar horse. And it looks like Tula Tower gives the okay and they're off with imagination out of the game first. Everybody trying to get position here going into the first turn. And look at that, we have a 3 Y, 7, 8, 8 of the 10 horses are all bunched together. And this should be an, should be some an outstanding race. Horse 1, just in touch, and imagination, head into the back straight. We have 4 horses. Ty, they pull up a little bit, but we have, look at that bunch. Eight of the ten horses are within two spaces of each other as they go into the clubhouse turn. Right now, going out of the clubhouse turn, moves is past everybody, and looks like he's putting a little distance between the back and him. And it looks like it's moved to me first, imagination second, and catching freedom third. Move two minutes twenty-four and four steps. Wins the race. Three lengths behind with imagination and catching fire. Just feel all in the money. Let's see, three million dollars to move. One million one. The imagination 600 catching freedom and just steal 300. So that kind of wraps up the. We <coughs> wrapping up here episode 5. You see here is the prep races for the Black Eye season and the Preakness. We'll fill out those races in between this episode and episode 6. But to give you an idea, we can walk up. Over to the top 10. We'll use the top 10 to determine who's going to be in the in the <coughs> in the precinct to the Black Eye Susan. So we take a look at the, the let's see what the male only see who's going to be in the Black Eye Susan. We'll be taking the top 10. And here you have it, it's news, imagination, you see the catching fire, and there's your top 10. And as you see, news and imagination now have two other victory points. I think the Kentucky Derby 
paid out 150 victory points. And Cal Muth is the leader in the winning and, <coughs> and in the victory points. And the top 10 will knock up all the top, all the ones in the top 10 have at least 100 victory points. The rest all missed the cut. So let's take a look at the Phillies for the Black Eyed Susan. And there again, you can see the top 10. Remember, we'll be running uh, 20 horses here, just like we will run 20 for the, uh, for the Priestess and, and two heat races, and then the final will taste the top 10. Oh, I think that's it here from CRG Central. We'll be signing off. And enjoy the evening. Remember, next up is episode 6 for the Black Eyed Susan and the Priestess. Good night.